Welcome to the Not Playing Podcast. My name's Rob Howard, and this week I'm joined by... Ian Bruce, Patrick Kay, and Adam Scott. Hello. You can contact us on email at notplayingpodcast at gmail.com, or follow us on Twitter at notplayingpod. Right, so yeah, there's been quite a few new game announcements, some really giant, beefy game announcements, kicking off with um, the new Star Wars Battlefront. This isn't an announcement as such, but there was a big reveal of it at Star Wars Celebration last weekend. Um, Lots of information. um, Some in-engine video. So they they didn't say it was gameplay. It's obviously not completely gameplay, but it gave you a good idea of like the capabilities of the engine and the... Or even remotely gameplay, uh, I would say. No, no one shot oh. with someone with a camera over someone's shoulder. You mean the speeder bike stuff? I mean all of it. I mean, it was, I know it was an engine, but it was it was wonderfully cinematic. I mean, it was beautiful to watch. I mean, yeah. I, 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 it shows the potential of the engine, but we know that's not the full story, don't we? <clears throat> we all remember Watch Dogs, don't we, everyone? Indeed. Well, yeah, we yeah we must be mindful. <laughs> <laughs> we must be mindful. I mean, there's there has. Of course, been uh, a, a amount, a certain amount of pouting uh, about the fact that oh, it's only forty players, and uh, there's no space battles, and there's no galactic conquest. And, oh my god! Even, even a game like ten years ago had galactic conquest. It's space, like space battles are going to aren't they going to be one of the DLC paid DLC things? Well, again, this is it. <coughs> a game that we used to get everything for free, and now yeah. splitting off into DLC. So that's the usual arguments coming out and I can't really argue with it but I'm a bit bored with that argument to be honest I mean it's the way it is We've the, the the gaming community has accepted this is the way it is and EA will continue to take money out of your wallets for charging you stuff they never used to that's just the industry these days so stop moaning about it and just get on with it basically sorry I did, who, sorry I did, over. who should stop moaning the people moaning about it yeah or, Look, I mean, the fact is, it's not going to change, is it? I mean, no, no, don't get me wrong. I hate, I hate DLC, and I, I, and I, I, I'm one of those people, as most of us here are, that remember when you used to get all these big packages of stuff, and you used to buy expansion packs, and that was a proper thing. Yeah. And rather than having portions of the game siphoned off during development, so it can be bundled up and, and paid to you, and you have to pay for it extra. Yeah. I, I hate all that, but the fact is, it, it's not going to change. So, no, no, absolutely not. No. So it won't change should... while people still pre-order games, yeah. while people still pay for but, those DLCs. And that, and yeah, that's, exactly. That's my, that's that's the way to deal with it. People yeah. will still buy it, and still people will still pre-order the de- the uh, expansion stuff. But I'm not going to get Battlefront on day one. No, me neither. I'm not, not going to wait six months for it. My son's going to be very disappointed because <laughs> he's dying to play it. Is he? Um, well, well, he's dying, he's dying to watch me play because he's old enough. I'd, I'd probably like to play it, but I'd rather play GTA Five online. To be honest, I could probably play, play that for the rest of my life. The amount of shit you can do in there and have fun, um, <clears throat> and it's just going to be the same thing, isn't it? It'll look better. Yeah. It, it'll have stuff from the new movie, but it is just going to be the same shit. And I just want to make sure it's not a, a, a battlefield with a Star Wars skin. That's, I'm that's... pretty sure that's exactly what it's going to be. What are you expecting mm. it to be? Uh... I don't know. I'd like it to be. Some, I mean, obviously, it's a first-person shooter, and it's um, you know, so that, that that comparison is is a given. It's by Dice and EA, so obviously, it's going to be using the same as many of the same assets as they can squeeze out. Of yeah. It. But um, you know, the, the I, I I I'll make a confession. I never actually played Battlefront. <laughs> The, um, but the, the first I, one was great. The second one added some of the iconic characters as like mm. uh, ninja hero dudes who could just come in and smite everyone, yeah. which was great if you were playing that dude. Otherwise, mm, not so much. No. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, You've played the battlefronts, haven't you, Pat? Oh, to death, to absolute mm. death. Yeah, I love them. Um, like especially the, the the second one. But yeah, like for me, um, the the most time I've spent with those ones is just playing them co-op with my brother rather than playing yeah, right. against 20 other people or what, 40 other people or whatever. Um, and I'm I'm really just excited to play these games single player, to be honest. That's that's yeah. kind of enough for me, really. 
Uh, it's it, it's all about just cool being part of that Star Wars world. That's what it was. That's all. That's what Battlefront was always to me, anyway. Uh, There's going to be like, single player stuff. Is isn't it going to be limited to like individual <clears throat> missions? There's not going to be a, a campaign. Is that right? No, there's going to be like time is essentially sort of just sort of yeah, just running through the maps. Um, right. Which they, they time, said, in the like second one they did that as well, and they just kind of broke it up with a few cutscenes from the the films to kind of make it feel a little bit <coughs> more fluid. But okay. that was all it was really. Um, but that was enough. That was that was a great game. Um, whether or not that is enough now to make a great game is well, remains to be seen. But um, I, yeah, I'll well, certainly yeah. give it a give it a peep. <clears throat> the the uh, one of the developers was on Reddit, sort of defending some of the sort of noise about this. And uh, as far as um, maps go, they said that they were um, that they, they definitely have more maps than what have been revealed um, in the trailer, mm. and that. Um, that there will be DLC on day one, but it's going to be this Battle of Jakku, which is to do with Episode Seven. Mm. So I'm not sure what I think that I think Jakku is the desert planet that we've seen in the trailer for the movie. Yeah. Um, that's not Tatooine; that's a new place apparently, uh, and that that will be that. But the, the, you know, later down the road, they may do sp- that Star Destroyer in the in, that's in the trailer, isn't it? I think. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what it's all <laughs> Maybe, about. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Well, yeah, there was some other games announced though recently. Uh, Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. Uh, there was an, a- yeah, there was an absolutely stonking uh, cinematic trailer for this uh, re- revealed a, f- a few weeks ago after some really odd sort of teasing of people pacing up and down in rooms and stuff. <laughs> that was a bit odd, but um, yeah, the trailer. I mean, it's it's uh, it's sort of <laughs> hints of of like a bigger uh, scale war between the the enhanced and not enhanced um and and definitely like a, a more um well different augmentation stuff that looks a little bit more um action orientated perhaps but the uh devs insist that you're still going to be able to ghost through the whole game uh like which you couldn't actually do in the first release of of uh, the the previous game because of the boss battles, mm. uh, which were <clears throat> developed externally, but apparently like that they they're taking that much more into account this time. It was the main criticism, which they already fixed in the director's cut, I believe. Yeah. There was alternative options around it, but yeah, I was so excited about this. I installed uh, Human Ev- Human yeah. is it Human Evolution? I put that on um, for a minute anyway, just to look, see how it looked. Um, and, and and it still looks pretty good actually that game, but uh, apart from the, I thought I thought some of the um, the character models were looked a bit dated. But, yeah. um, but I, quite, I, I, I mean, love it's... Deus Ex. So I'm a big Deus Ex fan. It, yeah, as far as too. I'm concerned, it doesn't get much better. But um, yeah. yeah, I think because so, I, I did the same. I, I I reinstalled it and had a look because I thought maybe if I get time, I'll I'll run through this again before the <laughs> sequel comes out because I couldn't for the life of me remember what the story was about. Um, not saying I, I enjoyed the story when I played it, but um, I seem to it, the, the ending was one of the and choose one, two, or three, <laughs> um, and see where you are kind of things. But um, I mean, the main thing I thought was, oh, maybe I'll play it differently and I'll, I'll, I'll take all different augmentations and stuff. And I looked at all the augmentations and I thought, well, no, if I play this, I'm going to play exactly the same way I did before. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at all the augmentations with one or two exceptions. I thought, yep, I'm I'm pretty much going to take all those again. So I, well, I don't know was... if I will. But, there was a DLC, wasn't there, that took place just before the final mission, uh, but it came out after the fact, and uh, I think because you in the played game, it as... In, in the game, you lost like three days or something, didn't you? You were cocooned. I think that... Wasn't that when the DLC was supposed to take place? <laughs> yeah, right? basically. that This is... Yeah, it tells fills in that gap, and uh, because uh, you get all your augmentations reset, I, I used that as an opportunity to try out some of the stuff I didn't try out. Um before because i was i i I basically did a kind of botched ghost run through uh when i played the first game as in i wasn't trying to get that achievement or whatever but generally i was avoiding most conflict and hacking things to sort of you know avoid getting into big firefights and stuff um which is a shame in a way because there was lots of really awesome weaponry but uh that's the thing with deus ex It, it it just puts it there and Let's you do what you want. So. It's full of awesome. It is full of awesome, and I'm looking forward to this immensely. 
Yeah, I can't wait still to see how it turns out. I still won't buy it on day one. So screw you guys. <laughs> yeah, there's no day release two, date at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, day two maybe. Um, yeah, there's no release date for this, but it, there was definitely a big pre-order now thing, which I just completely ignored. Avoid. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Um, another thing that I won't be pre-ordering is the new Guitar Hero. Oh my god. This or, or just looks ordering like... at all, in fact. <clears throat> yeah, it's it just looks so utterly shit. Honestly, they've the the one thing I will say, and well, they've redesigned the guitar, so it's now got uh, three buttons, but t- like on two decks, so to sort of approximate the ability to make chords and things. Um, but that to me just smacks of we've redesigned it, so you have to buy it again. Yeah. Um, and also, and also, it's got this horrible yep. first-person uh, FMV shit going on that's supposed to give you the feeling of being in a band. So, like, when you're playing, like, when you bum the notes or whatever, you get p- guitarists coming over to you and going, man, what are you doing, man? Like, it's... Because that's exactly what I'm it's like being in a band. I'm jealousy from you here, Rob. No, I'm not <laughs> jealous. I Have just you not think played it's, in I... a band? Is that... What is it? Do you want to play in a band? I'm not understanding. Listener, Rob plays I already in a pl- band. Yeah, I do, but it's uh, you know, I, I just um, yeah, I just thought this looked really hard. I think that's, that's, that's why that's why we don't get this game because all of us have been in bands. Yeah, that's why we, we don't understand. Play it <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why none of us understand it. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, it's for those of us who haven't been, or for those of you who haven't been in bands, then maybe this is something you want to explore, but. I'd recommend just, getting just a guitar and getting a band. in a band. Yeah, it's yeah, a, lot, a, it's a band. lot more fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot yeah. more fun. Rock, Rocksmith is the, the proper one, isn't it? That the actually... one that takes your yeah. guitar theme. Yeah. yeah. I've got a couple of friends who actually practice guitar that way, using it. They say it's really useful. I've never used it myself, but yeah, apparently, apparently it does work. I was thinking of getting it, actually, because I'm trying to get back into guitar. My, my, my son is starting to play, so I'm, I'm encouraged awesome. to pick up my old axe. That's and, uh, cool. Uh, we got there's a guitar in. Show him how it's done. Yeah, show him how it's done. That's right. I'm uh, I'm expanding his musical knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> and how does his mother feel about that? <laughs> She's got a say in the matter. So there you go. <laughs> you need, probably need to cut that from the podcast. <laughs> I, 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 I hope she she listens that. to it every week. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, as well as uh, all that nonsense, they're, they're going to have this Guitar Hero Live thing where it's basically a 24-hour playable music <clears throat> video network that you can tune into. And uh, like, so they're trying to basically have it so that you can just turn it on and you just play along to whatever's on. So as casual as you like um, and as little as <laughs> engagement as possible, I suppose. I think I've um, said all I'm going to say about that now. Yeah. Okay, well, I just thought I'd mention it. Can uh, you make a game that's... For it? No, move on. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, another game that's coming out um, or is actually out already. Um, that's how quickly they've done this. Uh, well, yeah, Assassin's Creed Chronicles is like this 2.5D version of Assassin's Creed, but of course, it can't just be one game. It's got to be a trilogy. So originally, this was pitched, I think, as a uh, as a DLC for Unity. Um, but now it's turned into a three-part saga spanning across China, Russia, and India. And the first <coughs> part is out now. I'm not really sure uh, I understood anything you just said. What is a 2.5D game? Uh, it's like a, a t- side-scroller, side but with 3D assets. So you yeah. can't move in oh. and out of the screen. It's just you know moving what left. a two and a half D game is. Come on. No, I don't. I'm forty two. Forty two. Oh, well, I'm forty three. Sorry. Well, I got a bit younger then. Thanks, mate. Let's get. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it means that you they can switch the camera around and swirl it about occasionally. So mm. it's like trying. You know. Trying. Yeah, I've not two point five D. You play trying it? Yeah, they. Yeah, they've yeah. got yeah. even more 3D yeah, yeah. this time. Yeah. I think. Trine yep. is one of the um, most beautiful 3D games as well. Trine, I'm interested. In. And isn't the Ori, yeah. isn't Ori two and a half D as well? No, that's actually two D. Is it? It's completely two oh, okay. D. Yeah, <laughs> it look, kind of looks it though, doesn't it? Yeah, it did in the. Yeah, I've not played it. Uh, well, so it's out on Steam been... now. Or uh, another it's out less on it every... 
angry inducing delivery platform. <clears throat> <laughs> it's out on all the um, the usual suspects, PS4, Xbox One, but it's got a bit of a drubbing, to be honest. Uh, it's got 67 on Metacritic right now. Do we think um, Assassin's Creed is enough of a franchise that makes this work? Uh, to be fair, Tomb Raider did the top-down stuff, and that's pretty good fun for a dip in and out. Yeah, I reckon. Dude, that, I, I, well, it's certainly got enough of a franchise. This? Adam, I, I'm you're looking of, like you're reaching for your wallet. Giving a go. You... <laughs> uh, gee, let me think. No. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't even played any of the normal Assassin's Creed. Well, I'm, really. I, I have, I have, I have absolutely nothing invested in the franchise, and and the recent iteration got such a panning that I'm I'm not really interested in. Dipping yeah. in, really. I mean, I, it's just oh, I'm a, I'm a bit too late to it, and this doesn't do anything to excite me. It's um, what was that ninja stealth game it came out like last year? Oh, uh, um, I've got my ninja... thing up here. Mark of the Ninja. Mark of the Ninja. Did you play? You played that, didn't you, Adam? Uh, I have played it a bit. It's one of those games that I started going, "Oh, that looks good." I've got to wait till I got a bit more time and oh, get okay. stuck well, into it, and I haven't. Essentially, I, I did. I did enjoy that. People are saying this is that game, and it's pretty much a carbon copy, but just in the Assassin's Creed pants. Um, okay. Yeah, that's a pa- that's a and with Assassin's Creed is. tax well, as well. If it's that game, I think I'll stick with the game I've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think if you enjoyed Mark of the Ninja and you want more of that, yeah, uh, Mark of the Ninja Two might be worth checking out. <laughs> But that's that. Um, okay. Yeah, you, Patrick, you uh, pointed out one today called yeah. uh, Jotun. This Jotun uh, Norse Jotun. mythology thing. Is it Jotun? Yeah. <clears throat> Useful looking. Um, it's only a really short trailer, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of hard to work out what sort of game it is, really. But it looks like a kind of 2D isometric. The, the, the art style is kind of similar to... Um, Banner um, Saga. Banner Saga. It's like Banner right. Saga, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it looks like a completely different sort of game. It, it looks gorgeous, though, like just really interesting stylized North Norse um, mythology imagery and just kind of gods and um, kind of ice palaces and runes and massive of magical sh- weapons and stuff cameras. like that. Lots of shaky cameras. Yeah. But yeah, I just thought it looked, looked really interesting. Does it? Um, who's, who's making this? <laughs> Well, they're certainly putting the game up front. Uh, <laughs> Not quite clear who the hell is making them. It's Canadian no, team, Quebec Incorporated. Oh, it's just a few guys. Oh, they did a. It was a Kickstarter, raised over sixty-four thousand with uh, two thousand two hundred ninety-nine backers. Cool. So it was a successful <clears throat> Kickstarter campaign, and they're on the case and working on it. So <clears throat> it looks very cool. Yes. <clears throat> Very cool. Definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, quite a big announcement, this one. And I refuse to refer to this game by its proper title. <clears> because it's it. ridiculous. Do it, because I want to see you. I want to see a little vein <laughs> popping up on your head. No, it's called Total Warhammer. That's, that's, not, it. that's, not, that's not right. <clears throat> I'm not calling it Total War Warhammer. I'm just no. not doing it. It's that was the last time. You didn't, you, Total because War you don't Warhammer. know how to punctuate. You didn't <laughs> take a break between the, yeah. the colon. Total, yeah, like, war Total War Warhammer. Warhammer. Baby wants a war That's Warhammer. Yeah, that, that I would have preferred rubbish. it if they called Why it they Warhammer call Total War. Warhammer Total War would have Warhammer, been Warhammer Total War. More war. Ewa woo woo. How much war do you want? <laughs> and then you can just keep saying the name forever. Like Total War Hammer. Yeah, it should just be like Total an echo. War Hammer. Just like Total War. Come on, Jock. Jock. Come on, Jock. What? I'm sorry. I apologise. I'm out of scotch. <laughs> Rob, tell us about the game. Uh, well, it's Total War, but with Warhammer. I think that's all we know, really, isn't it? It's not Thanks Total so much, War Rob. with hammers, then. Moving it's on. It's Warhammer, right. but it should like just be a Total about a war, war game. Fought entirely with hammers. Yes. It's like Shogun with less Shoguns and more War. Less show and more guns. Is just that what you're saying? Hammers. Right. Just hammers or just war? <laughs> um, well, it's going to be. Oh, for Christ's sake. Please tell me this is going in the. Of hammers. Outtakes. No, um, Jesus. All, all the bean. Hammers. One of the two. <laughs> Sorry, hang on. Well, all that, we're, all that they've shown is, is the two brands uh, in very close proximity uh, and then a, a sort of cinematic uh, trailer. What did you think, Adam? Because you're like quite up on Warhammer. Did you think that the cinematic was. Uh, 
was done in 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 the right way. Yeah, do you I think, think that, so. I mean, do you think they got the mood. You know, the thing is, it's it's kind of difficult because um, the cinematic obviously cups were in lots of different <laughs> factions doing <clears> lots of <throat> warhammery battle type stuff, um, and you didn't really get a sense of what was going on. But they seem to have the art style right. Um, the the orcs are very orky, the dwarves are very dwarvy. You know, th- this this has been established for a long time. It would be quite difficult for them, unless they got really wacky, to to screw it up in terms of the art style. I think. I mean, these guys know how to. It's creative assembly, and they, these guys know how to put a game together. The real um, uh, the real test was being able to see how the Warhammer. Uh, the fantasy battle Warhammer stuff translates to their battle engines, which are, have mm. traditionally been based in you know, historical real world periods without magic and that kind of stuff. But it shouldn't be that much of a <laughs> translation. I mean, the fact is, these guys, I, I used to be addicted to Total War games. Um, yeah, I remember many moons ago doing role play nights and then staying, starting at one o'clock in the morning, playing at <coughs> 5 a.m., and then going getting up for work an hour later, you know, <laughs> and it completely zombified. Um, I used to be absolutely addicted to them, uh, and the thing is, when they when they when they get them right, the whole world building stuff. This is actually a great franchise them to get into, not just for the battle stuff, but there are so many factions in the in the Warhammer universe um, that you can do the same thing that they've done elsewhere. You can pick your Skaven or your Dwarves or your Orcs or your Chaos or whatever, and start to take over the world and, and do it in a way that a lot of people... I never actually played the minifigure stuff. I wasn't quite that nerdy. Uh, but I, I, but I... Actually, that's not true. I did play a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. Um, but uh, I, I think it looks... I think the potential is, is, will look really good. And if I know Creative Assembly, they're pretty good at what they do. They, they had a bit of a dip, I think. Um, I think the Second Rome War... The Second Rome one wasn't particularly good i kind of dropped out of it after a while i didn't have the time to invest i mean they are massive games these usually do suck up your life quite a lot if you do it properly um but i'll be very interested to see as go this could be the the game to get me back into rts which i used to do an awful lot cool uh yeah i'm I'm interested to see how it comes together i haven't played a total war game in a while i think uh the last one i played was maybe medieval so it's been ages for me but I've got quite a, a lot of uh, time for Warhammer as a as a as a thing as a as a as a world. I don't want to call it a franchise, but it is. Um, but yeah, now I've got I've got I'm I'm interested to see how it turns out. Um, I th- I think it might be what what the uh, Total War brand needs is like maybe this kind of subject matter because it's dealt with a lot of heavy, historical, yeah. weighty stuff, which it's is great. To, it's starting to eat into uh, itself. You know, there's only... I mean, there's... They're, they're, I think they already starting to pick around for really good historical areas, er, areas to set their set their games. So I think actually breaking into this will give them a huge new swathe of, of, uh, uh, of gaming <clears throat> pie to consume. Unless, unless they uh, take it in a different direction and maybe go like the war the warcraft <clears throat> way with it but then i guess in what way well like you know like make it more like the relic games or the or yeah, the blizzard I, stuff i don't think i don't think they'll do that because relic and blizzard have already done that creative assembly make really good you know more realistic uh, it seems stupid to say that in a fantasy environment but they they're much more about um you don't zerg in a in a to- in a creative assembly total war game, you know, quite often no. it's all about it's all about terrain and tactics and positioning and flanking and all that stuff and um, morale and morale. And it's not about going around and scoring resource points and stuff. You know, you turn up in the battle with your stuff. It's not you don't have to go and find bits and pieces to boop up your flibble armor. It's it's and you it, know. it's about the politics as well, isn't it? Some, and it's it's all about, about the, the, the global politics of the region and. Yeah. Managing about relationships alliances. with neighbours and stuff, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. There's so much more depth to it than just, it's not just the battle. I mean, that's the, I mean, half the game, the battles are, you can actually go through a total war, a war game with, and, and spend 10, 10% of your buying battle. There's even a, there's even an option not to even fight the battle yourself, let the computer do it, so you can concentrate on the political stuff. So, um, I think actually it's, 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 pr- it's pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see how this works out. It might be very interesting. Yeah, it will. Um, 
Patrick, you uh, you pointed out another little <laughs> Kickstarter game, uh, Little Devil Inside. Uh, yeah, put you... out uh, gameplay alpha footage. <laughs> yeah, it looks awesome. It's basically it's like a little three D action adventure RPG game, and it's set in a kind of like caricature of the real world. But it's it, it's about um, it's about this professor who um, deals with paranormal monsters essentially. Uh, and you you work for him, I think. So it's all about sort of going out and finding these these kind of mythological creatures and slaying them. But the the focus of the game is apparently on more the kind of the smaller points. So it's like it's like what is it like to you know to to live the life of these these characters? Like they're saying it's not about just going and slaying a massive thing and, and that's it. It's like what happens to, to people with like these weird paranormal jobs like when they're doing their everyday life things so there's apparently there's plenty of time to sort of taking the the environments and and that sort of thing it just looks really interesting it's got a, amazing art style it looks kind of like a, almost like kind of claymation or something like that um loads of different environments sort of ocean deserts forests all that sort of thing um just looks really really interesting um i like the look of the combat it's really sort of cinematic Mm. Uh, and <clears throat> the, the only yeah. negative thing for me, at least, was uh, watching the trailer. It led straight into a video from In, in Excess, which is That's I found weird. quite tragic. Actually, they should <laughs> they need to have a look at that. Yeah, you <clears throat> want to fix that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that based more on your viewing preferences, though? Ian? I think it might be. Actually. Well, if it was down to my viewing preferences, I think we all know where it would have gone. <laughs> that's, a, that's the legal on YouTube, and you know it. Massive horse, your horse yeah, massive you. horse balls. Yeah. <laughs> what a great name for a band that is. <laughs> there's still time in. There's still time. No, there is. The world's not ready. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you're interested in backing that, they've still got a way to go on their Kickstarter. They're asking Ooh, for really? two hundred fifty thousand, and they've got eighty one so five, far. Huh? Okay. And uh, five quid will get you a sincere gratitude from the team and a desktop wallpaper <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe I'll give them a bit more uh, Actually, 27 look... days to go I'm going to set a little reminder at least <laughs> does look very nice actually mm, does yeah look. just watching the comment go and go and google the the YouTube video for this listeners because it's worth a watch it'll Definitely. be in the show notes <clears throat> made with unity as well always a winner yeah oh and there's fishing for you MMO people. <laughs> <coughs> well, yeah, there's, that's what... That, MMOs that's have what moved saying. on, like, Adam. Isn't do... all about and the fishing? Have to... <coughs> yes, well, apparently someone yeah. was trying to charge $2 for a Skyrim fishing mod. That they'd pilfered off of Nexus or something. Yeah. Didn't have horse balls yeah. in it, though, did it? <laughs> <laughs> it certainly didn't. Probably would have um, done if you'd gone fishing in the right place. Um... <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> This has been the Not Playing Podcast in partnership with notlistening.co.uk. You can contact us on email at notplayingpodcast at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at notplayingpod. You can find the show notes for this show at notlistening.co.uk. And if you're listening to us on iTunes, then please do give us a review. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for listening. Bye. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Um, they're making a biopic about um, the cr- oh, creation of GTA and the. Uh, I, I, sorry, just I think they're making a biopic. A biopic. Why? What did, did I say? You said a biopic. <laughs> Isn't that I like an ocular that's disease? How you said it. I, no, it, it's biopic. Is it? Oh, yeah. you say potato, I say potato. No, I'm afraid in this case it, it's it's definitely biopic. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was that? Uh, just Cause 3. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I don't on think the that was order. Just Cause 3. Is it? <laughs> I added it at the last oh, minute. Oh, you We're sneaky. getting there in a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone should do a MOBA about the MOBAs. The, the music of Black Origin Awards. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<coughs> where. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Well, you have to you have to form a, a like a band. We're still recording, Pat. <laughs> yeah, this is gold. Not, not, I'm yeah, making I'm not sure it. Where this is going, though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just scores free. Looks amazing. <clears throat> it does. <clears throat> Shame no co-op or multiplayer, but I will still be day one for that. And Mad Max looks really good as well. Cool. <clears throat> so I'll be giving that company two lots of my money this year. Bastards. There's no co-op or anything in Mad Max, is there? Uh, I... I don't know. I might, uh... Might have to... Oh, no, I'll wait until after this before I download Broken Age. Like, I've got fucking time to play anything else. Ugh. Oh. You haven't started GTA 5 yet, have you? I have a bit. Have you done the online stuff? No, not touched it. Jesus. I'm not well, I've been too busy playing yeah. Elite and stuff. Okay. Um, right, okay. We all good? All good. Good. Yes. Cool. cool.